The political system in this country is rife with inconsistency. And we're gonna fix it. In fact, we view it as our responsibility. So take a breath and gird your loins. It's going to be a hell of a ride. We're peeling back the curtain and showing you what we've got inside. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Samuel Valentine, and this is my political and musical assistant, Tom Sutton. Hello. This evening, we're going to be taking you on a journey, a personal journey, an audience journey, a national journey. One that will change the very face of this great nation. Well, you see, tonight is the launch of our political campaign. And in doing so, we have but one great principle at Stansko. We will fuck them like they fucked you. My ukulele! One, two, three, four. Cast in balance and mix it and some bumper stickers too. We'll fuck them like they fucked you. And beat them at their own game With the Pennsylvania flyers and corruption is our middle name Well my budget's in such budget still It's fucking budget section As the foreign policy will fuck that by extension We'll make the Clinton sex scandal look like a Disney feature We'll save so many coups you won't know which of us is leader This nation state is based on chaos and confusion We'll take that simple premise to its only logical conclusion Cast your balance and fix your pigeons and bump the stickers too Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, we are fast approaching the federal election. It's an important election. An impressive election. A throbbing, pulsating, quivering election. election. As politicians, we take our elections very seriously, which is why we're going to give you our electorate, our constituents, our craven and benighted pawns, if you will, an opportunity to get to know us a little better. <laughs> Sam Valentine is an enterprising and experienced politician with a strong personal investment in working class mothers. Thomas Albert is a University of Pittsburgh graduate with a degree in political sciences. His publications include Recession We Have to Have, GFC2, Recess Me Harder, and Top 10 Tips for Being Adequate in the Bedroom. You wrote that? I have to pay my rent, Sam. True. Ladies and gentlemen, as politicians, when we play politics, we play to win. Play to win. And a big part of that is taking the interests and demands of your constituents very, very seriously. As an example, here's a sign that I recently saw while strolling through my electorate on the way to an important community event. Now, this sign makes the per perfect example because it's a problem I bet you didn't even know existed. Didn't even know. It's a problem we didn't even know existed until we saw the sign. Not a clue. And it is for these reasons, it is because we, this, this problem lacks any kind of uh, evidence, any kind of uh, peer-reviewed research, even any substantiated claims, that this 14-foot threat to our national security makes the perfect cornerstone for our immigration policy. Ladies and gentlemen, the giraffe song. Sam Valentine will be interpreting the lyrics in Australian Sign Language for the hearing impaired. <laughs> Giraffes under your floor, there's giraffes behind your door. You didn't know it, but it's true. And giraffes will ruin your life, and giraffes will take your wife. And now you're asking me, what can I do? Well, ever since I was a boy, it has been my holy mission to protect the nation from these foreign threats. It's my passion, my desire, it's my only true ambition to make the world better place by ridding it of ungulates and protect the purity of the human race. Now you might think them charming, but you'll find it more alarming when giraffes are moving into your street. Cause giraffes are lazy slobs and giraffes will take your job. Suddenly diversity isn't so neat. Wouldn't let my daughter marry one of those long-necked freaks 
But I know it's not PC, but if you'll just listen to me, you'd recognize the danger of welcoming these strangers. Giraffes don't have a place in this country. Now I am not a racist, but we're going to have to face it. The values of giraffes are just plain wrong. And although I bear no malice towards the Camelopard Alice, they're different and they simply don't belong. So we're collecting ammunition and we're talking to one nation. Giraffe removal's what we're dreaming of. And the day will finally come when those giraffes are on the run. The country will be stronger, our necks will not be longer. And next we'll get those camels and any other two tone mammals. Yes, we'll have equality when we purge society of anyone who's not just